Okay, so I want to do a, a review for the Flash. Uh, just start with non-spoilers really quick. Um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I went into it kind of thinking I wouldn't. Because um, it got, I mean, it got bad reviews. Um... Overall, I mean, I think maybe it got mixed, to be, be fair, but, it, you know, it, it, it flopped, and it's flopping. It's not going to make money at the box office, which is too bad. Um, and, um, you know, f uh, the past DC movies, um, I thought Shazam 2 was okay. Uh, I mean, I liked it. I didn't think it was great. Uh, I, I liked this better. Um which is surprising. I thought Black Adam was was terrible. I I real I just thought Black Adam was terrible. There's a few good parts in it, like uh, Doctor Fate and Hawkman. I thought were good, but everything else is pretty bad, including The Rock. So, anyways, uh, for the Flash, uh, I actually enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it's a great movie. I mean, some people, some fans of it are like, "Oh, this is like the, one of the best comic book movies ever." No, it's definitely not. Uh, I, I, I just think it's it's entertaining. I think it's got a lot of heart to it also. Um, you know, uh, I think all the acting's good. Um, you know, Supergirl was good. Or, I don't know if they call her that, but anyways, uh, she's good. Uh... Ezra Miller's good, and Michael Keaton is is good, and he's in the movie, I mean, I'd say he's probably in it about 30 minutes, or maybe more, I don't know, he, he, he was good, um, I liked it, I thought it had some good emotion to it, um, wasn't perfect, uh, there is some bad CG, but a few of the parts that people are complaining about the CGI, I... I understand why the director was like, well, that part was on purpose. But anyways, I'll get I'll get that into the spoilers. But um, no, I I, I thought it was okay. It's not a great movie, but I, I thought it was it was, a, it was fun, good movie. So we'll just go into spoilers. So, um, but yeah, the, the, this movie is getting like definitely some hate. <laughs> uh, what does it have on? Okay, it's a 63% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's kind of mixed. It's fresh. So, but, um, I don't know. I, I was expecting to not like it. And we're in spoilers now. Because, um, they, you know, Superman isn't in it. And. Full spoilers. They act. They, they they kill him. His character as a as a baby, but um, and Supergirl's in it. But I mean, by the end of the movie, all that's undone actually. So then he goes back to his normal timeline, basically. So that's at the end of the movie. But I just kind of want to talk about that because I was kind of just like, oh, so you're just gonna replace Henry Cavill with Supergirl, and then. Like, basically, Man of Steel doesn't happen, and then she takes down Zod, but that is, that's not even what happens, because they don't even take down Zod, they, they can't. So, I was kind of surprised. Um, you know, there's some bad humor here and there. I mean, there's two Barry Allens, so there's two Ezra Millers. One of them is younger, and more annoying. But... I liked what Ezra Miller did with the main Barry Allen. He's more mature. He's kind of telling him how, how to use his powers because he actually loses them for part of the movie, uh, whatever, the main Barry Allen. And um, I kind of liked that. He was kind of telling him what to do, what not to do. And... Like when he gets his powers, he just goes out and runs around because it's like fun. He's like, he's like, oh, I, he's like, trust me, I've been there, I've done that. Um. So yeah, I've, I've, I actually 
liked him. I mean, you know, he like it's better than that terrible uh, Justice League by Josh Whedon. So, but you know, in Ezra Miller's private life, I mean, I don't even I don't even know. I haven't followed it totally. I know he's been having some trouble, and he like broke into a house in Hawaii or something and I don't even want to get in I don't even know and then and then he was doing some other stuff that was illegal and um, um, he's pissing that he was pissing off some authorities on the East Coast I, I don't even know but anyways I'm just talking about what's on screen um, so, um, you know, the, the movie opens, and he, and, and, oh, I also liked that, um, Alfred was in it, at least just in the beginning, pretty much, Ben Affleck and uh, Jeremy Irons, I, I really like Jeremy Irons as Alfred, I, I like Ben Affleck as Batman, yeah, another good action scene with Batman, uh, ben, ben Affleck Batman, which I liked, although I don't like the suit he's wearing, I don't know why they did, th this suit looks terrible, like, uh, it, you don't really see it much because he's on a motorcycle for most of the time. But then when they w w when they show it, I'm just like, why? Just just use the suit from Batman v Superman or use the suit from Snyder's Justice League. Just use those. But, you know, whatever. They probably wanted to sell toys or something. So they always have to change their suits. Um, but I don't even think they sold that many toys, so... But he's not even in it that much. I mean, he's in it for like 10 minutes, 15 maybe. Uh, you know, they have some good scenes together. He He's contacted by Alfred. To, he has to go to a hospital, save people at the hospital. There's these there's these terrorists that steal like a bioweapon or something. And they're, they're in an armored car. And this and and this felt very much like uh, like the animated series or something or maybe the Justice League animated series. Batman's gonna go get them, gonna take them out of the armored car, and then the Flash is gonna save people at the hospital. And <laughs> that seems pretty ridiculous. There's all these babies flying in the air because the maternity ward has has fallen, and. It's <laughs> wonder if that scene would anger some people, but it, it's I think it's all in good humor, and he saves them all. He saves all these babies and a dog. Um, and yeah, some of the CG is a little wonky there, uh, but there's a lot of it. You know, with some flash sequences, it's just you have so much CG, it's just not gonna look great. You know, but I don't know. Because, I mean, that's also getting complaints. It's like the worst CGI I've ever seen, people are saying. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think that's fair. I've seen way worse CGI. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it, it didn't really bother me that much. It, it kind of... I don't know, it just fit in the movie. Um, and there's long parts where there's not that much CGI. Like, a, like with Bruce Wayne and in his mansion. Um, so, so he does that, Wonder Woman shows up, that's another thing I liked in this movie, like, in the beginning, it's like, Wonder Woman shows up, The Flash, you got Batman, they're all working together, and, um, there's some humor there, it doesn't work with her lasso of truth, that Batman has it, and he can't get it off his arm, and then Barry Allen tries to help him, and then he says some stuff, and I, I, I didn't think that was that funny, but... There's, you know, there's some humor that doesn't work, but, um, so, so, so then they have to go, and, uh, he's talking to Bruce Wayne about how he thinks he could say, because he, he figured out that he could go back in time, probably, and Bruce Wayne's like, don't do it, it, it you know, it's only, it, it only causes trouble. Smart advice. But, of course, he does it. And, um... So he goes back. 
and he's in this and then he goes into this thing called like like it's like a, the chrono bowl or and the cgi people are saying looks terrible in there i mean but it's like i think it was supposed to because it it, it wasn't reality it's like a it's like a half reality you know I don't know. I was okay with that, and, and and they show different. You know, they show Henry Cavill Superman. They they show other things, and um, and then he and then he's gonna go back, and he's gonna save his mom. Um, and then he does, and then he gets pushed into the timeline w with the other Barry Allen, who's younger than him, and it's the same day that he's gonna get his powers. And won't go through the whole plot, but so he sees his mom. There's some nice scenes between him and his mom, I thought. Some good emotion, and between him and his dad. And um, I don't know, it just worked for me. I mean, I don't think this is a great movie, like, but I mean, I, I think it's, I, I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. I think it's getting way too much hate. Um, you know, I, I don't, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge Henry Cavill Superman fan. I, you know, I, I like his three Superman movies. Obviously the third is Zack Snyder's Justice League, not the other one. Um, but you know, I mean, they're going to make a Superman legacy movie now. So they're, they're moving on from that. And, uh, I am kind of like, you know, he could have been in this movie. Like he could have been the Supergirl character. Because it could have been an alternate timeline where that that's what happens, but you know they didn't do that. Um, maybe they didn't want to pay him more money. Maybe who knows why? But so so he knows Bruce Wayne's Batman. So he goes to Bruce Wayne because he figures out in this timeline there's no Superman. At least that's known of. There's there's Batman, but he doesn't come. He does. He you know, they don't see him that much. And it's the same day that Zod invades, that he comes back. And it, it, well, after he gets a power, maybe it's the day after. It, after the other Barry gets his powers, it actually takes away the primary Barry's powers, and they have to go find Batman in Bruce in Bruce Wayne's mansion. They go there. I thought that was cool to see the mansion from the 1989 Batman. It actually looks pretty good to me. Um, I don't know. They uh, show like that hallway with all of those uh, statues with that guy who's he's like, who is he? King of the Wicker People. Like, <laughs> so they show that. Uh, they actually fight. Bruce Wayne, because he thinks that they just broke into his mansion, and he doesn't know them in this timeline, and he's kind of like, you know, long hair, looking a little hobo-ish, uh, but like he says, that, that he doesn't really uh, need to be Batman anymore, because like he says Gotham is really safe, and, you know, so, and he's, you know, he's pretty old, so... He, It'd be hard to be Batman, but anyways, um, so they explain what's going on, and he says he'll help them, and they figure out that there is a Kryptonian, and they think it's Superman, and he's being held in Russia. So he gets he helps him get he helps him get to Russia with the bat with his uh uh whatever bat air bat wing. And, um, there's some good, um, uh, fighting scenes there. Uh, I liked them with Michael Keaton. And, um, a couple good action scenes with him. And, and then I thought, that, I thought this was cool, too. And then they have Supergirl, and she's in... this giant bubble metal bubble and she's being basically tortured and um you know the red sun is in there it's like very uh flashpoint paradox and uh 
just something you see in a comic book. So I, I like that. I thought that was cool. So she has like no powers in there, basically. They rescue her. And there's some nice moments, like like Batman's like, oh, it's it's not him. It's, it's like, and then and then Barry's like, well, we still need to take her out of here because like look what they're doing to her. So it just shows that he's like a good person, you know. Um, like like he cares about people. Um, even if even if it wasn't a Kryptonian, he'd want her to take her out of there because they they don't know she that she's a Kryptonian yet. And then later, she's in the sun, she gets her powers, there's an action scene where she takes out a bunch of the Russians, and, um, I don't know, the movie just worked for me, um, you know, it's not amazing, but I think it's a good time, um, so Michael Keaton was 71 at the time of the film's release, making him the oldest actor to play Batman. in a live-action film or TV series. The only actors who were older than were Adam West, who was 88, when he voiced Batman for the final time in Batman vs. Two-Face, released after his death in Olin Soul, oh, who was 74 when he voiced Batman for the final time in the seventh season of Super Friends, 1973. In contrast to the infamously troubled production of 2017 Justice League, Ben Affleck said that he had a great time reprising his role of Bruce Wayne, Batman, in the film. Michael Shannon was hesitant to return to General Zod because of the circumstances of Zack Snyder's exit from the franchise. He finally agreed after Snyder gave him his blessing. Wow, the film was first announced in 2014. Is that true? Wow. And it finally was released in 2023. Yeah, at San Diego Comic-Con 2017, it was announced that the film would be a loose adaption of Flashpoint storyline. So... And General Zod's, you know, comes and there, and there and there's a fight with Supergirl, and the two flashes. He gets his powers back. A Supergirl helps him get his powers back. She brings him up to the sky. He gets hit by lightning, and then they all go uh, to stop General Zod, or they think and. Pretty good fight scene. I mean, yeah, some of the CG isn't amazing, but I, I find that with a lot of comic book movies. Um, but I don't know. For the comic book movies I've watched recently, yeah, I mean, you know, I thought I liked this way more than Black Adam. I mean, I, I just didn't like that movie. But uh, I like this way more than Venom 2. I thought that was really bad. Also... And I'd say this is better than Shazam 2, and I thought that was okay. Um, so, you know, it's nice to see Keaton back in the suit. I think he has some good scenes. I think he has some good action scenes. Um, there's the Danny Elfman score going. I don't think Danny Elfman did the score, but, but you know, they're, they're using uh, parts of it from the, the Tim Burton stuff. So, the director's Andy Muschietti, who, um, who did Mama, I saw that a long time ago, but he did the two It movies, and I liked those, I mean, I think the first one's a lot better than the second, but, so, you know, I, I think he knows what he's doing, I think he knows how to direct, um, I think the movie just has a nice tone to it. It's like this nice, kind of lighthearted tone. Um, but it still keeps it somewhat serious. Uh, some nice emotional beats. I think between him and his father and his mother, some good stuff. 
And then when they're fighting Zod, uh, Supergirl keeps getting killed. And the actress who played her, I thought she was good too. I, I'm still kind of like, I, I think they could have had uh, Henry Cavill in this. Just, it would have been a different timeline with him. And then he would have been trapped in the Russian bubble thing. and Or, or whatever, uh, Red Sun <laughs> of, of, of Krypton metal globe that he's basically being tortured in. And he could have been in there, then they could have broke him out. And then, you know, he could have got his powers, and then he could have fought them. But, um... But she keeps getting killed by Zod and, and the Kryptonians. So does Michael Keaton. Uh, he actually, I think, has a couple good scenes. I know it's like angering some people. They're like, oh, they brought him back and they just killed him. And it's like, well, I mean, what do you think? They're just going to make a bunch of movies with him? I mean, I don't know. And that whole, and then by the end of the movie, the timeline's erased. And it's like, don't, don't do that. That's kind of the message of the movie. Don't mess with time. Because you're never going to be able to fix everything. And so he keeps dying. He has a pretty good action scene with one of the uh, Kryptonians. And um, and then she keeps dying. So they keep trying to go back in time to stop it. Eventually the main Ezra Miller is like, look, this is, we need to stop. This isn't working out. Sometimes you just have to let go. Just let it go. And the other Ezra Miller is like, no, I want to do this. And he keeps trying and trying. And then it's kind of revealed that, like, he's kind of the villain. And he kind of is, cre then he's doing this for who knows how long, decades and decades. And then he looks totally different. And anyways, uh, it's kind of hard to describe. But but basically the message is don't, don't do time travel. Don't mess with it. Some funny things like... Uh, Back to the Future is actually whatever, what's what's the main guy in Back to the Future that was originally cast? Um, I forget his name. Uh, Stoltz, yeah. And then Michael J. Fox was in Footloose. And then Kevin Bacon was in Top Gun. But anyways, it's like, so, and then you know, by the end of the movie, he actually messes with one little thing so his father can secure his alibi and uh so he's on camera so he grabs for this thing and he looks up and he's on camera and then by the end of the movie they secures his alibi so he actually saves his father gets him out of jail and then there's a nice little cameo at the end that was kind of funny i don't know if they're taking if that's serious or not but it involves george clooney um but yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it, cause, and for, you know, I mean, they're doing Superman Legacy, so I think they're basically gonna, you know, start over. So I was kind of just like, well, this is kind of like the last time I'm gonna be seeing them. Obviously, there's Aquaman 2 coming out. I hope that's good. And Blue Beetle, but I think that's, it's just by itself, so not quite sure. But, um, I don't know. Overall, I, I enjoyed the movie. I mean, it's too bad it's flopping. I think it's a decent movie. I think it's, I think it's okay. You know, I, 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 I'd give it a positive score. Um, it has a good, it has good heart to it, I think. It has a lot of heart. And, uh, it's cool to see Michael Keaton, you know, as Batman, probably for the last time. So, uh, but yeah. That's about it. Um, I like the scene at the end with him and his mom when he's kind of like saying goodbye to her. I mean, you know, I don't know. The, like the movie just worked for me. I guess you know if it doesn't work, if, if it doesn't work for you, then I can understand the negative reviews. But uh, overall, I liked it. So uh, but yeah, that that's about it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's it.